Sure. Uh, when we are live, uh, we'll be introducing. Uh... We are we are live now. Uh, Sitaram ji, Vivek, uh, we're all live, and uh, we have a few teachers with us already. I think we'll wait for another couple of minutes, think, uh, minute or so before the others join. Absolutely, and sir. Look forward to that. So, uh, how is Patiala, Sitaram ji? How is Pat how is Patiala nowadays, and how is Corona? Patiala is uh, very fine, but Corona pandemic is totally troubling. We all, uh, all children, all teachers, everyone in the country, we are facing the same everywhere. But yes, uh, Himachal seems to be in a much better state as compared to. Well, uh, not really. I uh, some very bad news. Vivek, another friend of mine, actually uh, died. Uh, Himachal guy was in uh, Lucknow. So it's it's happening in Hill and uh, it's it's very sad how things are happening. Very sad. Was he in Lucknow? He was in Lucknow. Okay. That's right. That's right. So I think it's uh, almost time to start. Uh, we will start in another thirty seconds if uh, all of us agree. Vivek, are you are you okay? Should we start? Absolutely. Absolutely. Shall I shall I say something, sir? So let me introduce and then I will get you in Sitaram ji. Right, right. So good afternoon teachers, good afternoon other friends on Ideas That Matter. Welcome and uh, it's an honor uh, to have all of you on this beautiful webinar. My name is Atul Khosla. I am the founder and pro vice chancellor of Shulini University, Himachal Pradesh. We are located very close to Kapali. We are a research centric university and uh, we've been spending our lives over the last 10 years making lesser privileged students super successful. Vivek and I have started thinking about ideas that matter three years back, uh, three months back, and it's been super successful. We've got Vivek more than 150 institutions now, and this is our 98th webinar. Uh, so we should be hitting a century very, very soon. And it's been so exciting to share ideas and uh, hopefully I would say inspiring our students in the process. So it's a true honor and very exciting to be speaking to teachers at the Army Public School Patiala. Uh, before I start, uh, I think we lost uh, Sita Ramji, otherwise I would have requested him to introduce the school. Uh, so I'll do a quick introduction. We have uh, Mr. Vivek Atre as a speaker for the day. I will come in in between to share my thoughts. Vivek is an ex-IS officer. He is a TEDx speaker, uh, writer of, author of three books, a very, very accomplished person. Also, as I say, the architect behind the IT park of Chandigarh, a very dear friend, and also a professor at Shulin University. So before we start, I'm going to have Sitaram ji introduce the school. If you can do Mr. Sitaram, sir. And we will then get into the discussion. Over to you, sir. Sure, sir. A very good evening, everyone. We feel really privileged to have Amit Sas. Though virtually, Mr. Vivek Atre, author, advisor, motivational speaker, and formerly of the Indian Administrative Services, IES, and Professor Atul Khosla, the founder, the president and pro vice chancellor of Sulni University, Himachal Pradesh. I, on behalf of APS fraternity, thanks both the dignitaries for sparing their valuable time and actually sharing the views, ideas for best online practices while teaching online. I'm very sure we all will be benefited from your Great experience, sir. APS Patiala is a co-educational institute, a strength of about 3,500 students, and we have a faculty teaching non-teaching staff of around 160 or so. During this pandemic, as we all are aware, schools are closed, institutions are closed, but our teachers are conducting online classes through Microsoft Teams. We are trying our level best to benefit the children through online classes, but your ideas, your inspiration, and your views will definitely going to help 
all of us over to you sir thank you so 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 much uh, mr sitaram uh, it's a true pleasure to speak to all the teachers here uh, our topic for the day is going to be online learning but look at the beauty of it i am in himachal and you are in patiala vivek is in panchkula and we're all so close to each other and uh, i think the audio is perfect the weather is gorgeous hopefully hopefully we'll have an amazing talk i think the genesis of all this discussion around online starts around 5 years ago we were actually where we started thinking about on online education and we created a platform called unif uh, it's been very very successful and we had actually gone online around a year back uh, and it was not a surprise when covid happened uh we have lots of experience vivek you've done so many webinars vivek also has a best selling video on how to give great webinars so vivek will speak a bit i have a small presentation to give on my experiences on how to give good online lecture quickly uh, my background uh, i am the founder of shulini as uh, sitaram ji said i am a btech from id kanpur and i've been in consulting for a very long time and then 11 years back got into teaching and i love being a teacher so i love speaking to teachers and it is my honor to be here today vivek uh, is also a teacher after retiring or taking a premature retirement from the indian administrative services and together uh, we love talking about the topic on online learning so vivek i'm going to hand it over to you and uh, we will take it up from there over to you vivek Thank you very much, Shatul Kosla, and uh, it's truly a pleasure once more to be speaking for ideas that matter. Sitaram, Vivek, thank you. A little bit of if you don't mind, I'll request Sitaram ji to please mute himself, and you'll have to speak a little louder, Vivek. I apologize. Okay. Okay. Sitaram ji, if you can so once again, a uh, pleasure to be speaking on ideas that matter, and it is a pleasure that we are able to connect in this manner. Sitaram ji, thank you for the warm welcome. and also atul uh, it's a pleasure once more to be speaking with you uh, on this series where we have reached out to so many thousands of teachers and parents and students as well in this new era we are working online more than anything else today was actually after a long time a day when i went for what is called a physical meeting wearing my mask going for a meeting of the sub committee of the governors advisory council of chandigarh and it was a education sub committee and chaired by general kj singh so it was wonderful to be a part of a meeting after a long time only five or six of us were there members and we sat with social distancing we discussed education among the things that we discussed was the methods we can adopt to make online platforms better and easier for teachers and one of the ideas that came in was that teachers have to basically enjoy the process if teachers become uh, find it difficult if they are reluctant if they are hesitant if they are against uh, the new way of teaching then it becomes all that more difficult because you have to first of all overcome that inhibition or hesitation inside you and the technologies are available and one day we will all go back to the classroom and be teaching in the classroom and of course these online inputs will i think continue so blended learning is definitely going to be the way but enjoying what you do is the key that is the first thing if you enjoy whatever you are doing online that means that you are looking forward to the class just like you would have looked forward to it in the classroom then you will give a better performance if i may say give a better class and the uh, process will be enjoyable for the students also if you love your work then you don't have to work that is what the great saints have said and it is very important for us to love our work if we are enjoying what we do that half the battle is won the second uh, very important item and atul will talk about this in more detail is that you have to have your logistics right your logistics means that your computer or your phone or whatever platform you are using is in good condition is stable is placed on a at a height which is amenable to the performance or the class now for example some people unfortunately they come too close to the camera 
and some people are too far from the camera so we can't afford to do either of them we have to be balanced in terms of our distance and spacing the sound has to be clear we cannot have sound which is unclear and then we can have some backdrop which is like i have a painting at the back and a plant at the back you can have a simple backdrop with some books or maybe some uh, plain wall but it's good to have one thing something else behind you some painting some book some item some flower pot whatever is possible so when that is all set even your glass of water is placed before you then you are all set for the webinar or the online class you don't have to get up in the middle make sure that your laptop is connected to the charger if need be or your phone is connected to the charger if need be if that is not the case you will have to break the uh, class or interrupt the class and go there the most important point after that is content what you teach in class is what you need to be speaking here and you need to be speaking with the same preparation the same expertise if you are a history teacher or a geography teacher obviously you know your subject if you are online the content has not changed it has become a different medium of delivery that means that instead of bowling over the wicket you are bowling round the wicket now which means in cricket we do that you change the direction means you change the medium but the ball is the same the ball is the same the delivery is the same so here the lecture delivery is the same he who might have to use certain methods of delivery which i'll come to but otherwise the content is the same so make sure that your content is crystal clear and if the class is shorter then obviously you have to use shorter more powerful sentences bullet points and if the uh, timings are let's say 30 minutes instead of 45 minutes which was there in the school then obviously you have to have the interaction also you have to instruct also you have to tell them the page numbers the chapter the whatever it is so if you are prepared with your content you won't have a problem if you spend even 15 minutes before your class going over that you will have absolutely no problem on your content now i come to an even more important part because content is something teachers are quite comfortable with i come to delivery now delivery means that you are speaking with confidence number 1 confidence means that you are poised you know that you have the subject at your fingertips you are speaking to a camera but the other side of the camera or on the internet are students they are the same students who would have been in your class of course their mother or their auntie ji or somebody might be sitting with them at times but it doesn't matter you are not to take them into account you are addressing the students talk to the students in the same way but your delivery can be a little louder i feel that it can be a little louder you'll have to make your voice a little boom and if you make your voice boom then the child will not have time or opportunity to be distracted if your voice is feeble like if you're talking very softly if you're talking very softly then your voice will not reach their inner most consciousness and you know children are easily distracted even grown ups are easily distracted so you need to speak a little more loudly and more forcefully online for that you may even practice what theater actors do is speaking from the stomach or the diaphragm so you just kind of speak from within it doesn't come only from your voice cords but the voice comes from within then you will be able to make more of an impact online the other thing is that your delivery has to be clear and crisp you cannot be uh, uh, eating up certain words or going very loud at times and very soft at other times your delivery and your tone has to be uh, very well managed and important sentences important lines punch lines uh, points to remember should be said with great power repeat them with great power i will repeat a quote for you just to give an example paramansa yogananda who is the author of the autobiography of a yogi he said be calmly active and actively calm so if i repeat this be calmly active and actively calm 
A very important quote. We can try to emulate what he said. Be calmly active, actively calm. So if I talk like this, it is very unlikely that you will forget what important points I gave you. They will stick with you. So delivery is extremely important. And also, you need to smile more. Normally, teachers are smiling uh, in the class, but here they are tense because it's online. So they are worried about the connection, worried about the various things students are not watching. So uh, don't be worried about all that. Just be yourself. Smile a little more. Be pleasing in your personality and try to be pleasant in that. Of course, there are children who are naughty. Of course, there are children who are not listening. But you have to try and be more interactive. Try and encourage students who are regular. One school we talked to yesterday, they were saying that we are giving e-certificates to the uh, very bright and uh, participative students. So that is a good idea. We also suggested the same, Atul and I. So you should give e-certificates or recognition to the best interactive students online. And those students who are not listening, not participating regularly, they need to be called up or hauled up. And they need their parents need to be called up. And you need to tell them that this is not happening. And you must uh, ask your child to participate a little more regularly. Also, as Atul will tell you, some participative activities where children are participating in to and fro activities, that is also very important. Online teaching basically is the same as classroom teaching. It's only that you are sitting away from the audience. And that is a big difference, no doubt. But here you have to get used to it. And you're looking into a camera, you are you can also, when you're not speaking, look a little away towards the trees in the window or somewhere wherever a window is. Refresh your mind when the child is speaking. Also ask the children to participate in the teaching part. Maybe you can ask one bright child to prepare a five-minute uh, lecture or a kind of uh, speech on a particular topic. That will also break the monotony. Even if you are Amitabh Bachchan or Alia Bhatt or uh, anyone, you will find that people get uh, bored after a while. So you have to make sure that you are making it interesting with new ideas. I'm going to request Atul to come in now. And uh, he has uh, some points for you as well as hopefully a video. Atul. Thank you, Vivek. Uh, great thoughts. I'm going to summarize a few. Uh, it's always a little difficult to come second and uh, I'm going to summarize some of the few thoughts you had. Uh, you know, I put a small presentation together, Vivek, on some of my learnings of uh, online and I'm going to go back into history. I'm going to sort of connect the dots of people I've worked with and what is so critical about and how do you go about giving a great online lecture. So if you allow me, I'm going to share the screen and uh, 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 if, if that's okay with all of us, here it is. So uh, I can't see you right now. So Vivek, if you could just guide me, can you see my screen and am I audible? Yes, you're audible Atul, and your screen is visible. Fantastic. So I'm going to talk about uh, online learning and I'm going to do it through five stories on effective online learning. These stories are from my experience over the last 30 years of working, and many of them are applicable even to online learning. My first story is about a person by the name of Ranjit Pandit. Ranjit was my first boss, and he was the one who taught me how to speak. I used to stammer Vivek, I couldn't speak very well. And Ranjit would go and say, Atul, it's not difficult, but, if you have to give a great online lecture or a lecture, make sure you invest in the toolkit. What does investing in the toolkit mean? Let's go back and look at a mystery, a carpenter. A carpenter has a toolkit. A good carpenter is as good as his randa or his saw or the tools that he has. And I think that's very, very important for a teacher now, you need to have your toolkit. Your toolkit would now consist of a quality broadband connection, a computer, a laptop actually, 
because a cell phone is not good enough for an online lecture. A microphone, I have a microphone and I'll show that later on, that gives stereo sound. But then it's up to you how much you want to invest and the right set of softwares. So let me take you through a few things about the online learning toolkit. Six things that I bring up over here. The first is the right PC or laptop. A great online lecture cannot be given over a mobile phone. So if you haven't invested in one, let's go ahead and buy one. It is ultimately your life. Secondly, software. Of course, all of you are using Zoom or Google Meet, but it's way beyond that. A small example, you can actually use your mobile phone as a webcam because your laptop might not have the high quality resolution that you seek. For that, you need the right software. It's a software by the name of Epoch Cam, E-P-O-C-C-A-M. If you download the software as an app from Google Play or uh, you know the application store of iPhone, you'll be up and running. You need a dedicated place, most important. Just like when you give a lecture in class, it's a quiet classroom. You need a place where you don't have kids floating around or a dog coming in or the neighbor shouting. You need a place which is dedicated to online teaching, work from home, and it needs to be quiet. And it needs to have the pro proper background, just the way we have over here. A good desk and chair. After all, you'll be working for a long time, so you can't be feeling tired. The right connectivity. Friends, Wi-Fi connectivity does not work. You need wired connectivity or ethernet connectivity. So go and buy a BSNL connection, a fiber, get that 800 rupee connection, connect it to your laptop, and bingo, you'll be up and running. And finally, you'll need collaboration tools. So these are softwares which will help student and teacher collaborate with each other. A couple of examples over here is a tool called whiteboarding, which means each of your students can have a whiteboard along with you and you can give questions, students can answer. You can have a learning management system, which I'll encourage the school to invest in, where you can collaborate with the students, you can give quizzes as you speak, you can make sure that attendance is seamless, only your own students get inside the classroom, etc., etc., etc. So lots of exciting stuff happening over here. I won't go into the details of you know what's really needed, but the point is, you're all teachers, you are extremely intelligent. So I'll just do a recap, invest in a high-speed internet, a laptop with a quality webcam, or use your phone as a webcam, a noise-canceling headset, or a great microphone, a technology platform, and learning management system for your videos and assessments. And finally, you have to be trained by the school or by yourself enough training programs out there. So understand new forms of pedagogy, experiment, instruction design in a great way. Small example, which Vivek also said, a 40 minute class is not the right way to give a lecture anymore. You have to bring it down to 20 minutes. The human mind cannot absorb knowledge for more than 20 minutes. So probably breaking your class, 20 minutes, five minute break, come back after five minutes to restart the class again. And this time a quiz or a discussion and not a verbatim classroom. The second person I'd like to speak about is Todd Furness and his logic and learning is very simple. Always look smart and good wherever you are. Todd Furness was a charismatic guy. He always dressed very well. So when you're standing in front of the computer, the camera, you have to look as good as all you people do when the classes are on. I know my mom was a teacher. Every day she would wear a new sari, a different sari, and was so proud to look good when attending a class. The same applies when you're in front of the camera. The third is what Tom Peters said. Tom Peters was a dear friend of mine. He's the author of a great book called In Search of Excellence. And Tom Peter would tell me when I used to work for him, your office needs to be a quiet, convenient space. You cannot be you know, doing a lecture uh, out of your uh, dining table and everyone shouting. It's just not possible. A very interesting example happened, Vivek. You know, It was very funny also. A teacher of ours was giving a lecture 
and her mother-in-law came in and started scolding this teacher can be very embarrassing also so find a quiet place you know just lock the room put in a, a notice outside the room saying class is on i am at work do that even you have to do that with your loved ones you have to discipline many times your husbands or wives or your parents to say that please i am actually at work you spoke about paramananda yogananda sa vivek and you spoke about stay actively calm calm the active it is stressful giving a lecture over the internet so start meditation if you haven't that's our guru paramananda yogananda so you have to be calm you can't be shuffling your fingers you can't be stressed as you're giving a lecture and finally i would say that's that's me uh practice 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 there's nothing better than practice so vivek i could barely speak when i started working i used to stammer actually to the extent that i was almost asked to leave the company i worked for and i went to my boss and i said i need time and he gave me time and for the next 7 years i would speak to a camera every day for 1 hour and i practiced and i practiced and today i'm not at all nervous speaking to an audience and hopefully i do a good job so practice 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 quick recap invest in a toolkit always always look smart and good wherever you are your office needs to be quiet and convenient stay actively calm calmly active practice 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 and finally my mentor steve jobs he would say think crazy think different think outside the box if someone tells you that they know how to give a great online lecture don't believe no one knows how to give a great online lecture vivek and i are only giving you a direction we have no idea so experiment this is your time experiment go crazy think outside the box and now i'm going to play a small video on steve jobs what he would say here it is okay i think there's a problem with the video sorry for that i'll offer and answer questions as we get into the q and a session vivek uh, so teachers please ask questions on your chat bot on youtube or fa uh, facebook wherever you are and uh, let's take it up from there over to you vivek let me bring you up thank you atul great ideas and important inspiration i think uh, what uh, one thing that needs to be kept in mind by teachers by instructors by the principal is that we need to look forward to what we do we cannot take it as a burden if you take it as a burden then everything becomes difficult and impossible there are obviously some people who are taking it like they say a uh, fish to water that means that they are adapting to the new time it is not that difficult and don't think that this era of being outside the school and only online will continue forever there is a difficult times there are cases in india which prevent us from going back to the school but we will go back and when we go back we will be thankful for many things that happened during this time and one of them is becoming familiar with the camera i gave you a lot of tips earlier and atul gave you a lot of tips uh, through the presentation and his delivery so i'll add a couple of more things to you lighting is very important as well if you see that uh, the daylight if daylight is available to you use daylight as much as possible if you are in uh, evening times and it is dark then obviously the light has to be in front of your face it cannot be behind you so that the uh, camera light or the light is falling on you that is very important then also it is important that you sometimes you used to keep changing your routine you know at times you can start instead of starting with the same uh, method that you did yesterday you can start with a story so stories are going to be very very useful to people teachers going forward stories anecdotes instances they help you to keep in touch with uh, reality bring in real people and it is also important that stories are told so that children are interested in what is coming next and if you tell the children especially small children that i am going to tell you two stories at the end of the class then they are going to have some incentive to sit and listen because they love stories 
it's extremely important and that that is what is uh, sometimes missing i even had uh, the pleasure of uh, sharing the screen recently with dr rc jeevan former principal of dav college kangra and former director of uh, dav college chandigarh and he is also on the panel, uh, chairman of many schools of dav institutions in this region and atul and i were both with him on another ideas that matter series with dav school uh, sector 15 chandigarh and he was there as a mentor he said that even in chemistry where which he was a teacher of he says i used to tell stories and people used to remember my stories even till today they remember them. so whatever stories they were i am not a chemistry student so i don't know but even in chemistry if he could come up with stories then definitely history teachers sociology teachers language teachers other subject teachers geography teachers because travelers have been all over the world they can come up with stories for sure and anything interesting is always going to catch the interest atul rightly said that the attention span has reduced if you look at it even when you are out for coffee with someone or you are sitting at your, your dinner table your eyes will automatically go to the phone because your attention span is less than it used to be in earlier times human beings have become more distracted so here online it is all the more important that we should do something about it and make sure that people listen to us by giving them different variety entertainment in a way which is more uh, easy for them to understand and receive so i think we can take some questions also and uh, So there is someone asking, Absolutely, uh, yeah, Vivek. Uh, you know, I have a couple as you were speaking, and uh, you know, you've you've written, you've got this absolutely beautiful webinar, uh, you know, video. So I'm going to have a couple of questions over there for you. I'll request Sitaram Ji to please uh, mute, unmute and uh, switch on his camera, so we can uh, also get you, sir, into the discussion. So uh, Vivek. Uh, what do you think is going to be the new normal are we going to have lots more webinars going forward i mean the government of india has already spoken about leveraging technology uh, so do you see some blended learning coming in going forward yes yes absolutely so i totally agree blended learning is okay even if uh, covid had not come blended learning was coming and now it is absolutely necessary that even when we go back to the classroom we use technology as much as necessary or possible so going back to the classroom is important because inspiration comes from one to one contact look into somebody's eyes the teacher pats a boy on the shoulder and that is something also important but here we will have technology also to benefit now you and i delivering this webinar sitaram ji can show this webinar to teachers next year also because we have given some ideas he may have next year a new set of uh, teachers uh, some of them this webinar can be utilized over there so there are so many ways in which technology can be utilized and blended learning as you said is definitely the way forward so i think before we get into the uh, panel discussion and q and a so teachers please keep asking questions i have one more question for you you know young children it is so difficult to engage with them you know even otherwise and now you have to do it over the over you know over distance over online how does one do that are there any tricks for that vivek you've been experimenting a lot yeah i think the younger the child the more difficult it is you're absolutely right the span of attention anyway of a small child is very little so you have to have very short interactive sessions with the younger children or asynchronous learning as atul you know very well so something which is recorded something which can be played by the parents whenever the child is in a good mood let's say if the child is cranky 5 year old 7 year old it's not easy to teach him at that time so whenever he is in a okay mood the child parent can sit down with that recorded lesson and children who are very little young children they need to be told more stories they need to be they may also need to be encouraged to speak up and maybe some drawings can be there in that meeting in the morning which i was mentioning the government schools showed us the children had made some uh, you know craft items or something and they showing them on whatsapp pictures so they make something at home and display it online 
that also makes them more uh, you know ready to eager to participate these kind of ideas you know i'm going to bring in uh, mr sitaram here because i'm sure you guys are also doing some amazing work on online you know would love to hear your experience sister especially with younger students i will unmute you i will unmute you go ahead sir i am still muted no you're not we can hear you sir you don't i will do it for you you don't have to touch your screen okay go ahead sir please speak yeah so very valuable points uh, i mean conveyed by both atul sir and mr vivek uh, what i uh, know about online teaching uh, the teachers they have really picked up in a very short time because it came all of a sudden and we have to change from traditional methodology to this online teaching undoubtedly it was like we have to do it so teachers getting trained for it they are utilizing best possible resources time and for younger children what i feel is activity oriented even though it is online but they need to be engaged in various activities like small small things poem recitations in junior classes to be recorded say small declamation craft paintings quizzes even quizzes means they can be engaged with these small little activities and not for 30 40 minutes like monotonous lecture that's what i have been discussing with my teachers and slowly and slowly we have picked it up and children are now now getting very interested in these online classes but still what i find because it is a technology virtual classes are going on still so many things are there and so many i mean problems are coming up as far as uh, teaching learning is concerned whether because all these points you have already i mean taken up we should be having a good internet connectivity we should have good tools i mean whether it is laptop which is desktop all these things but still because uh, uh, a strength i mean we have children from varied backgrounds and everybody is not very comfortable with internet connectivity and all these things so that is where uh, the problem is coming up but yes slowly it is getting improved but other point which is coming up is and what we are observing is children in senior classes especially board classes mm -hmm. they are under a lot of pressure and some cases are coming up they are into depression so how to overcome such things that is what my question would be for uh, uh, mr vivek or if professor atul khosla can uh, reply for this absolutely i think uh, you've hit the nail on the head sitaram ji uh, technology is uh, one thing and technology can be resolved of course there will always be challenges with technology vivek i'll just give an example i was you we were supposed to have a meeting with the minister of education of himachal uh, and as uh, murphy's law comes in last moment uh, his camera failed and we couldn't do that meeting so these things happen all the time so we just need to be pragmatic about technology so coming back to i think students depression and their motivation uh, i can't agree with you more so it is a very big challenge so there are three things that we have done at shilani which might be of help to you the first is uh, we have created a 24 into 7 helpline for the students and there are eight uh, faculty members who are volunteers and we have three counselors so students can call them any time of the day or night and uh, share problems and in colleges especially uh, as you would know uh, they you know when you're in the teens or early 20s your hormones are up and there are major major challenges so uh, i think just by creating those platforms uh, for uh, a helpline we've been able to succeed to quite an extent so i i would uh, suggest that is one example uh, that's one thing uh, the second thing is uh, you know learning also happens a class uh, outside the classroom uh, sitaram ji vivek sir so what we're trying to do is we're trying to force uh, communities outside teacher student interaction so we're trying to create 
form while there are always informal groups that students have on whatsapp or other groups we're also creating informal groups where students can interact with the support of a mentor and interact with each other on problems they have on challenges they have on coursework etc aspirations dreams uh, we've also reactivated our hobby clubs vivek so we're starting to we just did yesterday uh, a competition on shulani's talent so participants came in and they they share talent of course over over the video so creating those clubs and getting them active of course is not the same but doing a little bit of activity uh fourth uh, uh what we've done is uh, we also is speaking a lot with the parents now i think it's very important so uh, not just parent uh, teacher to parent but we just did a parents meet yesterday we did a, we did a students induction yesterday uh, vivek we just started our semester as an example so these are i think few areas where we're trying to engage with the students uh, one last thing i think it's also an opportunity or what we call asynchronous learning which basically means what you're talking about sitaram ji can you give more and more projects to students of course it's easier with younger students you can give them something to draw you can give them something to sing even with a senior students we're doing projects now for example i was taking a course on economics and i was explaining the concept of gdp the gross domestic product to the students so i've given them an assignment to say go and estimate the gdp of the 20 shops of your of your uh, you know the place where you live tell me the gdp calculate the gdp of your locality so uh, it, it it got very exciting they are out, out right now of course with the right safety and talking to the shopkeepers identifying and they learn and they are also excited so i think getting them uh, out into the field is very important and last but not the least i think encouraging them get out of pubg and play into the field is very important so one classical challenge we are facing with it is students are saying uh, internet connection kharab hai and you are very worried internet internet connection kaise kharab ho sakta hai so what's really happening is you know at least in universities students are buying these uh, uh, 300 400 rupee internet packs from jio or airtel and they'll have two or three gb of data so students watch netflix and pubg the whole night and by the time they come in the morning for the online lecture the uh, you know uh, their their whole thing is exhausted so we've now reached out to parents and said that okay you know please make sure that uh, bandwidth is available for the students so these are very interesting examples and i never thought this could be a challenge so we are learning uh, sitaram sir so if there's one thing i had request you to do uh, that would be create a helpline and uh, you know sometimes what we're also doing is uh, two of us taking a lecture so we've seen rather than just one teacher so we're clubbing two teachers taking a class being innovative uh, sometimes you know that discussion helps break the monotony also so uh, there's no right answer but i think we're all experimenting sir so <laughs> that's how it is so i think uh, there is a question from harpreet ran uh, vivek uh, first of all she is uh, saying thank you and she's saying the epidemic has forced everybody to use more technology uh, whether she's asking whether it's always better to use a whiteboard or a blackboard or be in touch with technology and uh, i think there are pros and cons harpreet ma'am uh, you know there's a concept of a light board i don't know whether you've seen that but you can actually make a board out of glass and you can write on it and you can do lots of experiments i can also you can also teach by having a whiteboard at the back and using technology but technology has some advantages too like you were saying i think i i read someone saying that they have they are monitoring performance through google forms absolutely you can use analytics of technology uh, to monitor slow, slow learners and fast pacers and and monitor them so we've started doing that using ai vivek so we're trying to understand which are the areas where students don't which are the areas students students don't understand using a lot of technology in that running pretty much quizzes so we've also changed you can't do that but we can as a university we've also changed the assessment system so we used to have only a big ncm exams 50% of marks from those vivek so we've decided to change that to only 20% coming from ncms and continuous uh, evaluation so lots of exciting things happening over here I uh, sort of break over here. I think I love your comments, Vivek and Sitaram sir. 
Yes, I think it is absolutely essential to be uh, adaptable to change. So one or two questions uh, saying that perhaps online is better. I don't think anything is black and white. There are so many advantages of being back in the classroom with rubbing shoulders with others. And there are so many things we learned in school which we only learned because we were with others, with friends. If we were at home only online, I don't think we become completely complete personalities. So I think it's important to have a blended approach, and that is the answer to Harpreet ma'am or Harpreet sir, maybe Harpreet ma'am's answer. Uh, the, there is uh, somebody saying that students are in like house prison for the last four months. Uh, that is very unfortunate. They must at least play outdoors. Playing outdoors wherever they can, little bit, a little bit outside is vital and most important. Outdoor exercise for children means they will not sit with PUBG, etc. at night. Because one hour, if you play outdoors, you are tired enough to sleep on time. And physical exercise and mental health and physical health are linked. Then Monica ma'am is asking something about yeah, Monica Ma'am is asking, she's asking, how can we conduct online assessments apart from Google Form quizzes? So absolutely, Monica Ma'am. Uh, so there are tools, technology tools called proctoring tools uh, you can use, which use a lot of artificial intelligence to make sure students are not cheating when they're taking an online exam. Uh, happy to get into a separate discussion over here. We've got some great tools with us, uh, uh, Mr. Peter Ramsa. Uh, but basically what it does is it freezes the screen and if you look left and right, then also uh, picks it up. So uh, lots of people are now, especially in universities or uh, places like SAT, GMAT, they're all using proctoring tools, technology uh, to, to continuous evaluation. But these are not uh, readily available on Zoom and other platforms. So. Uh, happy to share uh, thoughts and ideas and the technology platform with your school. I'll request Shikha if you're there to reach out to sir. And if you're interested, uh, Sitaram sir will be happy to take you through some some learnings from there uh, that we've been using. So we just conducted uh, we conducted our online exams on time, Vivek. So N7 exams happened in July uh, on on a normal basis, and uh, student engagement was actually great. We just started our new semester. Uh, and we are using technology to the benefit of the students. Of course, like I said, learning is also outside the classroom. It's very, very difficult to replicate that, but we're trying our level best. I would love to hear your thoughts uh, at this juncture, Sita Ram, sir. Uh, how are you coping up with some of these challenges? Yeah. I hope uh, I'm audible. Absolutely, Sita Ram, sir. You're very audible. Right. So, uh, we uh, yesterday we conducted a virtual uh, this online parent teacher meeting also we have been using technology we are trying our level best we are conducting google i mean test online test through google i mean we are using microsoft teams for teaching learning and conducting tests even so we are interacting through various modes but uh, my point is uh, that yes children whatever they are getting benefited through online classes that is one part of it my previous question was that, uh, yes, uh, board classes, students, class 12, class 10, 11. I mean, these children, they feel they are going to lose their year. The children of class 12, they passed out, but J mains, J advanced, NEET, still pending. Class 12 children, they are feeling that we have almost lost the year. What will happen in the next, uh, I mean, uh, exams or so? As far as, uh, I mean, uh, the tools, artificial intelligence is concerned for the conduct of online test, we leave it as of now, as I feel personally, with new education policy coming in, there is uh, probably no scope of all these things. We may have uh, open test kind of a thing coming in uh, after some time. So these things need to be told, I mean, to the children, to the parents, and we as teacher must also understand that the way we teach, the way children are trained and the way they are, I mean, morally enriched, that we are to study, not bothering about that we are to mug up the things and reproduce the things in the paper. Those are not the things. That's what I feel personally. In the yeah. coming things, uh, probably these things need to be taken care of. So I agree, Sitaram, uh, sir. Uh, like I said, uh, learning through project work, 
learning with your hands is so much better than learning through a textbook and uh, of course the new education policy is pushing on that and this is an opportunity for us to do much more what we call asynchronous learning rather than teaching in a classroom so there's some challenges i think some people are saying uh, internet is not good in the cant area so that might be very specific related to patiala uh, uh, anushka ma'am I'll, i'll request you to check a couple of other providers sometimes you know jio doesn't reach airtel reaches but the best way is actually through uh, through a fiber which is check with bsnl bsnl has the best fiber uh, it's called fiber on demand and uh, i always encourage everyone to actually have ethernet or fiber uh, a landline uh, internet connection i think that's the only way to make it stable wifi platforms are not stable by definition uh, kanchan ma'am is asking uh, there should be a live session for parents to make them aware because during these online classes some parents are finding difficulties to attend these classes uh, vivek uh, your thoughts on this i think so i think involving parents is a key uh, to the success of online programs or anything so maybe we can do a session for your parents sitaram ji or maybe you can do it so uh, connecting with the parents especially and us answering their questions is very very important especially in a school like army public school you would not have also problems which private schools are facing i know for a fact panchkula schools are facing where some parents are not even cooperating so they are they are not wanting to pay fees and therefore they don't want to uh, acknowledge that they are even attending or receiving the material which is being sent online but in a government school it should be okay so you should go ahead and reach out to all the parents and uh, make sure that they are uh, in tune atul there's a question from hatinder ma'am which is quite interesting okay uh, could you read it out i am not yeah it says uh, he says what activities can we do during the class so that their interest does not waver which you have already i think answered earlier but uh, quizzes you mentioned sitaram ji also mentioned game so i think some uh, spelling activities some number games some quizzes some interactive you know uh, sessions where they play out something maybe a little online uh, reading session everybody reads uh, five lines from a book then the next person even storytelling sessions in english and hindi they can be there so all these are ideas for participative uh, interactions two more tactical things we make uh, one of the things which i am learning is uh, and i'm i'm sure that's happening in your school also students join the class and then they uh, put themselves on mute and they switch the cameras off and we just don't know whether they're interacting or not so at least what we have done it we made it compulsory for them to uh to sh- you know uh, of course they have to mute themselves because otherwise a lot of sound comes in but uh they all have to be there uh smiling and of course we don't have uniforms but we encourage students to be uh the way they were in college so i think that's very important for students to have a routine uh i think that's uh, i know some schools are also requesting students to wear uh the uniform i don't agree with that but i think uh making students uh, sit in front of the camera i think it's important that they know they are being watched uh, i'm not saying it's a stick but uh, uh, students are doing well who are participating give them a carrot give them a certificate like vivek said so i think some things you can do you can also do online polls as part of uh, your lecture we do a lot of that uh, there's a, a idea of from tanvi ma'am uh, survey monkey as an assessment so absolutely you can use any tool google form uh, survey monkey uh, of course open books are the best but uh, the question paper is a question over here you know the question paper has to be very very well designed if you're using an open book so so different different theories but i think if you want proctoring then you need those proctoring tools uh so yeah malka ma'am is saying uh, they don't even switch on the camera i would say you just have to ask them to switch on the camera if they don't switch on the camera then attendance won't happen my faculty would not uh, in my faculty meetings initially vivek they would not switch on the camera uh, early days i remember many of them don't get up on time and you know they haven't shaved or they haven't combed their hair so they just switch off the camera uh, i think it's a basic courtesy in online to make sure that we're all Are not muted, and in fact, I don't even allow muting in my uh, faculty meeting. Vivek, 
because my logic is very simple that if you can't have a quiet place during a faculty meeting with your vice chancellor how do i believe that you can have a quiet place during a lecture uh, but that's a different discussion definitely encourage your students to come uh, on camera they i mean they're also beautiful people they were beautiful smiles i think we all love to see each other so that's at least my my thoughts we make on this one absolutely true i totally agree it has to be interactive they have to be present they have to show their smiles and they have to be ready just like going to school that's what so mamta ma'am is again asking what do you do with students who don't switch off the mic ma'am uh, like, what do you, what do you have is uh, you need the proper learning management system uh, which is connected to uh, a collaboration tool uh, typically you can't do that in zoom or google meet or microsoft teams uh because you as the teacher should be able to control the screen uh, for example uh, i have a platform where i can mute uh, i've muted uh, uh, shifts uh, uh, sitaram sir now or i can mute or i can change the look and feel of the screen right now i've done that i can change it in a different way so these are all things that you can do uh, with 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 more professional tools so i would say uh, experiment with the right tool you want to use uh if if that's a challenge but i've also heard about zoom bombing a lot happening vivek so it happened in one of our schools in solan where in a seventh class uh, lecture some pawn was played so you have to make sure that your your student is coming in ma'am uh, so you have to make sure that their videos are on if someone else comes in you don't have control over the lecture so it's there are big challenges on this uh love to i think at the juncture again uh, sitaram sir has got some great thoughts would love to hear your thoughts too yeah uh, sir what i feel is uh, knowing the technology is very very important while you are teaching online that's too important i mean yes it happens that some children they are smart enough uh, in the morning very first period what they do they are uh, online and uh, strength is full but when it comes to the second period third period slowly what happens the strength reduces but then teacher has to be very very alert keep asking by name some yes. questions something something so that children are alert that you cannot leave in between so that is what i feel and that's what i have been telling my teachers also absolutely so problem is there but yes it need to be sorted out with the right use of technology that's what i feel personally and that's what i have been telling my teachers also yeah so jabi ma'am is saying we can mute them but we can't unmute ma'am there are platforms that you can unmute also like i said i am right now let me mute uh, sitaram sir so he's muted right now and uh, i can now unmute him so choose the right uh, technology is what i will say uh, every lecture doesn't have to be a lecture it could be a webinar there could be different so you'll have to experiment and there's lots of amazing stuff on youtube i watch a uh, half an hour of youtube every day to understand how to give a great lecture vivek himself has got a beautiful video on how to give a great webinar so i'll share it absolutely absolutely so i think we're coming to the end. i think one of the beauties of uh, online and technology is to start on time and end on time and we know that we are not extending there's a saying vivek you give mic to a professor and then uh, this person never stops so i don't want to be one of those professors right <laughs> uh, i i'm going to ask you for your last thoughts uh, one sentence and then i'm going to ask sitaram sir for his last thoughts and we will close for the day but what a beautiful session vivek over to you yes a beautiful session i'll quickly answer one question which also i noticed ritu ma'am was asking what i said was if you're looking at the camera for too long just look away for a while in the middle to break the monotony and give your eyes some rest he says it might look discourteous to the speaker if you look away but only that is only when there are two or three speakers like now if i start looking out of the window now it looks odd but whenever you get an opportunity do look around so that your eyes get rest from the screen and it doesn't look discourteous it's only when you are the only one listening that you have to be fully attentive and even when you are listening you can be looking elsewhere it's okay it's like listening to a radio i i just wanted to answer that but otherwise i think it's a fantastic session i think it's a wonderful idea to interact like this and discuss ways because the better we get the more impactful we will be and learning will benefit so keep connected and stay positive that is positive and happy 
Thank you, Vivek. Thank you for your beautiful thoughts. Uh, Sita Ram, sir. Sir, uh, it was uh, really a wonderful session and the uh, points uh, or the aspects which you have covered, I mean, uh, Professor Atul and uh, Mr. Vivek, uh, wonderful, wonderful aspects covered uh, online teachings and I'm very, very sure uh, our teachers are also benefited from it and it was a very good discussion, panel discussion and all the, I mean, queries raised by the teachers have been wonderfully answered uh, by both of you. I'm really grateful to uh, Ms. Uh, Professor Atul and uh, Mr. Vivek. Thank you so much for this lovely session. Thank you. Uh, Vivek, you need to uh, be upset at Sitaramji is calling me professor and he, he's calling you mister. I'm just no, no, I am only sometimes professor and mostly mister. Atul is mostly professor and sometimes mister. <laughs> okay. okay, we'll 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 you, you have the gift of the gap, Vivek. You know how to answer every question. So, thank you very much. Uh, uh, on behalf of Shulani, I really am thankful to all the teachers of Army Public School, Patiala and uh, Sitaramji. It's been, you know, I'm going back with a few learnings. Uh, uh, we are going to make our assessments more open book. I think that's what I learned from Sir today. Uh, and uh, I mean, amazing discussion because there's so many inputs from the teachers. Vivek and I have done more than 100 such webinars and I can tell you, uh, you know, the energy of the audience comes from the chatbot nowadays and not from the eyes of the audience. And we got so many questions from all of you. Thank you very much. A great session. And if we can do anything more, we'll be delighted on behalf of Shulani to make that happen. Uh, also, when things get okay, uh, we will be honored if uh, some of you or all of you can come and visit Shulani. Uh, we'd love to share ideas, share thoughts. And I also know, Sitaram, sir, that we have a home now in Patiala. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lovely. Have a great day, everyone, and uh, good luck. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.